Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Educational Gamer and we are playing Strategic Command where we are uh, conducting the warfare in Italy. So as the Western Allies it is late, it's getting late summer of 1943 so uh, let's look at the situation. There is a front of Germans in the north um, hiding behind the river basically um, we've cut off a couple of Germans down here in the center and south center locations and some in the very far south down here. So uh, let's start off with these guys. Some heavy artillery shelling. So I would hope that indeed our Marines should be able to clear these guys out. That's fine. Uh, that does mean that our second core over here. Do you would would you would we rather rather have you upgraded? I think it's only the AA, and indeed you don't even have enough supplies. So let's simply advance over here um, and make sure that we could attack. Let's attack with these mechanized forces, the Hungarians over there. It's not a strong core, but uh, we are able to do that, so that's why we do it, basically. Um, also going to bring up our other forces like such. We do know that there's a bit of space over here. Uh, we do know that the Germans are not exactly in their high supply. Um, I think this area up here is my other priority, simply because... Well, firstly, there's a headquarter, and headquarters are usually extremely, extremely important. Um, and also because I would rather like to get a couple of units in there, uh, some, some air units, so that we can start to reduce some of the forces in the north, uh, because I think that's the ultimately uh, most important thing that we need to do. Right, um, I think this core over here, with a morale of 60, should really... Uh, be reminded of our air power a little bit so that should be fine they are not entrenched anymore which is interesting to see and um, can we upgrade these aircraft we can so that's nice mm, we do have some fighters but they typically are not capable of dealing too much damage we have a couple of tactical bombers uh, which could do some interesting things for us down here but I think what we're actually gonna do is start out with the 8th the 7th core over here the Germans uh, we do have some AA, honestly it's not the most important thing for us right now. Um, and we do have some more medium bombers, though they can't reach up there, so yeah. Right, so let's simply see what we can do and should be doing next. Um, we could strike with the Mexicans, but the Mexicans really should be reinforced, I believe. So, can we reinforce you? We can, so yeah, let's in fact do that. It's a garrison, by the way, that has absolutely no modern weapons, uh, which is maybe not ideal. We have some tanks. I would like to bring them up to the north. So we can't exactly move these guys out to then kill the headquarter. Come on, the headquarter is more important. Bring the mechanized forces, they should be able to deal with that very nicely, so yes, indeed they are. And that means we can... Can we briefly look at the how that river goes? It's alright-ish. So yeah, the 10th army here can take a fight, bring in the 3rd marines, and finish them off. Nice, very good. Good national morale boost as well. Ah, we are losing some troops. Those marine tanks should be getting some reinforcements then, and, and that is alright. You can move up a little. I think we can pull our engineers a little bit away from the fighting area. So, yeah, I think that's okay. And down here, we could advance a little bit with, this, with our garrisons. But you know what? Since our garrisons are not that close to the enemy anymore, let's rather... Deal a little bit of damage down there. These tactical bombers, um, you know what, we're going to reinforce you. Tactical bombs are fine. Right, and that means you should soon be transported up there. We have another heavy artillery brigade, which might make sense to bring up here. So that we can start to deal some damage that way. Other than that though, uh, well... Let's do an attack over there, and another one. Could switch some of these units around. 
It's probably not that worthwhile though. Move you up. You're fine. Okay, let's attack with German Fire Jam, I guess. Nice. Good attack. Fighters are okay up here. Uh, you should potentially be upgraded to longer range. That's fine. That does leave us with the UK head, um, UK carry over here. Could do some strikes. Doesn't seem to be too worthwhile though. We have the 101st Airborne. Might make sense to jump you in over here. No, you'd be out of supplies immediately. Okay, let's bring you over there. Suffering some casualties. Which of course not that nice, but sometimes unavoidable. Okay, fine. Um, upgrade fighters to longer range. Yes, please. Move off the tactical bombers and ultimately we'll want to send uh, as many of them up there as possible. Mm, and transport these tanks. Well, this is a good position for the artillery. I guess we can move back the headquarters a little bit, move up the artillery that way, and get the tanks on land as well. Nice. Okay. Very good. Can you... Prepare. No, you can't. You probably need to rest a turn. Okay, that's fine. So we've we've bombed, we've reduced them to one front down here, uh, which I think is fine. Let's make sure that really no supplies whatsoever are getting into there. But that should be alright. Good. Uh, let's look at Greece, and where the situation is a little bit more difficult for our Indian friends, I believe. And um, we can move up, I guess, just a little bit. Well, maybe even to Dubrovnik. Wouldn't that be nice? Grab another harbour. Pull up the Argentinians. You're fine where you are, and I'm, I'm slightly concerned about these tanks. But, yeah. You over there, that's okay. We do have tanks of our own, although they are very, very weak. It... Mm, might make sense to put make a dash over here so that we are reducing their supplies at least a little bit and start to threaten them and that's okay and then what we're really gonna want is take reduce the morale of these heavy bombers uh, sorry heavy tanks uh, sorry these are normal tanks I should say um, even though we don't quite see how strong they are. Very modern medium tanks. That's probably the best way to phrase it. Okay. All in all okay. Let's move on our destroyers to split so that we can see a little bit up the Croatian coast. Yeah, but it all in all it seems like we are doing okay over here. Can bring in our paratroopers and um, can actually move out of just Nikki, I guess. What's the supply situation? Five. I would have thought supplies a little bit better up over here in Greece. At least for for ourselves. I mean, we are allied to Greek. Okay, all in all, good situation. Um, scout out a little bit Trieste. Hmm. Potential for landing behind enemy lines in Brest. It would be so nice to get these Germans. Move in, cut off Turin. Against the Swiss border. But okay, it is as it is, so that's fine. Um, we should probably upgrade you before we do anything else. That's fine. We do have a couple of units in the UK. These special forces need better weaponry. I guess we can give them better mobility. And these... Paratroopers then, we're going to pull you down. Headquarters should move up a little. Some of these units still need to be upgraded. Not too many, but some. Can we fight you? Can't fight you on equal terms even. Can we bomb you? No. Well... You know, 
equal fights against German fighters, I do want to take. Do want to take them because ultimately, as long as they are paying the price to reinforce these units, and we are paying the price to reinforce our units, um, I think we are coming up on top. Well, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Okay, no, I definitely shouldn't have done that. And how about you? You can't strike over there. That's too unfortunate. Uh, let's move back actually our strategic bombers because we're not actually using them. How about bombing now? Hmm. Nice. Good result. So far, so okay. We do have some tactical bombs as well. Don't quite have the range though, so that's unfortunate. Um, any reinforcements? No, 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 no. Okay, fine. Some transport just lingering off the coast. One transport that I moved stupidly. But sometimes that happens, so that's alright. Good. Let's look at Far East Asia. So we have landed over here. Mm, you really need to be reinforced though. These Marines. Um, like Arthur should come on the land. Likewise for this headquarter unit, you'll probably need to rest up a little over here. Oh, can I upgrade you? No, I cannot. Okay, fine. Really, really think about how I could strike over there. You can't even be upgraded. That's too unfortunate. But we do have some rangers over here. That's okay then. Where do we want to bring you on land? Hmm. Ideally over here. I think if I land over here, I still can get into the town, occupy the harbor, strike these Japanese bombers, and have another landing position up there. Fine. Very good. Right. Any other forces? Yes. Let's upgrade you first. Australian Special Forces. Do the Australian Core down here. Mm, which we are going to bring up but primarily towards over there. Just get as many people towards the Philippines and ultimately Japan um, as possible. I do think we have some people in Pearl, right? Yeah. So let's firstly reinforce you and you should go on long range amphibious transports. Over there. Well, fine. Another battleship. Sure we can bring you up. Manila. How about Iwajima? I think you're defended by some special forces, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Not much we can do about that, though. Okay, happy with the situation in Far East Asia so far. Well, we have these forces who should potentially get um, loaded up, actually. How about you? My Australians? Really, I would like to land over here, but it just doesn't seem possible at all. I mean, we are reducing their supply, but still landing over here, we'd be cast off from supply entirely. So, no, I don't think that's, that's a possibility. Our Australian friends up over here should potentially be brought over there but for now let's hold off on that can i upgrade the carrier i can yeah longer range always nice right you should save though the walls we just repaired i do think we have another group of special forces up here yeah we do so let's use you on long range amphibious transports Maybe out a little and that's fine. Good. Okay, that does settle about the turn for the West End Allies. Let's look at our supply spending. So, 
mostly we are fine I think we can do a little bit more research as the UK so advanced tanks I think a little bit better ones would be nice long-range aircraft ground attack weapons are definitely a high priority so that we can support our D-Day landings amphibious warfare is armored warfare and, and command and control will come in by themselves spying we've finished logistics is okay Industrial technology might be all right. Production technology. I don't think production technology is, is a priority. Longer range aircraft. Yeah. We are we are noticing that we are having trouble engaging on the continent, so I think this is fine. Shouldn't leave us too many points though. Um as the UK is there anything that we can and should be buying? Not really. <laughs> Armor trains. Heavy tanks. Heavy tanks would be nice, but you know, I think we are fine as the UK. All of the other nations sort of have enough points as is. Maybe we could do some research as Italy on industrial production. Just try to increase that as quickly as possible. And then as India. Well, India. You go you have good infantry weapons you've got decent command and control you've got infantry warfare your tanks aren't great your AA is isn't great amphibious warfare you are developing at least so that's nice production technology no, I don't think so let's let's go for AA defenses though uh, because I'm slightly concerned about what the Germans are gonna do over there and then the Soviets can buy some more units um, and I think that means primarily replacing losses, an army, garrisons, not necessarily required. And I think that's about actually it What in, in terms of what we... The armor tray, I, I like it, come on. Let's do it, let's build it. I have a sympathy for that that I cannot explain rationally. So I'm not going to try, uh, but advanced fighters are are desperately required uh, to guard our ground forces a little bit better against uh, Axis Air cover. Right, all in all, I'm pretty happy about the situation on the Eastern Front. It's starting to fragment a little, and we should be careful because the Axis is still much more mobile than... Oh, wait, wait a minute, over here. Um, yeah, that's actually advanced. Supply situation over here will be horrible though, won't it? That's okay. The five isn't too bad. On the other hand, I would like to threaten Bialystok. And we can drive on Warsaw, and that would cut off their supplies. Well, not cut off, but reroute their supplies pretty dramatically. So I'd be happy about that, actually. Good. Is that back a little? You're right though. Yeah, it's probably this unit that's gonna be attacked. Yeah, I like it. Good, very much. <laughs> Good, very much. Uh, right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time when we'll start to prep a little uh, on the, can I upgrade you? Uh, on the UK side, probably two more turns, uh, but we might very in spring 1944, uh, I think we'll land on the continent over there. Probably until then we might have uh, cleared out a little bit of the situation on uh, the Italian front. I think this uh, pocket here will squeeze together quite nicely and then at some point we'll need to break out um, from over here. So that didn't take that attack that we want to take. It's a fair trade, let's do it. Three, two, okay, no, I'm happy with that. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.